The last part of your assignment on your push stick is to put a graphic or multiple graphics on here at some point. And we want to do that just so we can get the hang of getting graphics put on our designs. And you're also going to use it when you do your top for your nightstand. So we're going to try to make sure that um, we know how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is find a picture that we want to use. So I'm going to come to my web browser and I, of course, I'm going to search on the old Google images for the Raiders logo. So you search for what you want. Any image is fine at this point. If you want to steal something of someone else's, um, feel fine. And you're going to try to find a picture that you can save as a JPEG image. So I'm going to come down here. I tend to try to avoid anything that says Pinterest because that gets hard to deal with. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say save image as and I want to make sure that it's going to be a JPEG image. So I'm going to type in raiders.jpg so that it's a JPEG image that it's saved as. And that's going to download right there. You can see that it's downloaded right here. It's a JPEG image. And now I can go back to Rhino. So now to bring this image in, we are going to use a command called picture. So in my command line, I'm going to type in the command picture. And it is going to bring me to this menu right here and ask me to open up a bitmap, which is the same thing as a JPEG. So now I need to scroll through, find my image. Here's my Raiders image. I'm going to click open. And now it's going to ask me for the first corner of my picture. So we're just going to drag this out and it doesn't matter where. And I try to make this pretty big to work with. I'm going to click and drag to the other corner and click. And now this thing is just the object that I can move around. So I want to make sure that I can lock this thing down. So I'm going to make a new layer over here and I'm going to call this picture. And I'm going to select this. I'm going to come over to my picture layer and I'm going to right click on the word picture and say change object layer. And then I'm going to click on this lock. And now this thing cannot be accidentally shifted while we're tracing, which is important because we're going to actually trace this with some lines. So to trace, I'm going to use a combination of my polyline tools, which are just off your screen here, and this curve box. I'm going to open up this curve menu, and I am going to use this one right here. Second one over, curve interpolate points. So I'm going to left click on there, and I'm going to just start clicking along here and I'm going to make points every so often as I go. When I get to a sharp corner, I'm going to click my right mouse button and end my line. And then I'm going to come back and grab this again. And remember that you have the ability to use the mirror command. So if you have a design that is symmetric, like this shield is symmetric, but instead of going ahead and doing this side over here, I can take these two things, I can join them, and then I can type in the mirror command, and I can snap from this line to the end of this line. And now I have joined these together. And I've got this outside shield. Remember also, like we did in some of the arc things, you can use a tool called offset. So if I grab this line here, now instead of tracing the inside line, I can type in offset. And I can just kind of guess at the distance. I can type in 0 0.2, that's a little short. 0 0.3 looks pretty close. I'm gonna go 0.35 and that looks like what I want. And I'll hit enter. And then I can click. And now I've got those two shields. If I wanna see what I have, I just come over to my picture menu and I turn off the light bulb. And now I can see I've got my shield traced in there. And so I'd move on to the 
main part of the logo, I'd grab this and I'd work this head. The more points you do, the more shape you're going to have. And I'd stop right there. This right here is a straight line, so I'd probably grab my polyline tool, snap to my end, and then come down. And for this set of things, I would make some straight lines. And I'd add my line. So if I was going to do this, I'd trace one of these guys and one of these guys. Then I'd mirror them over and I'd just move them. This face is not symmetrical, so I'd have to trace it all. But I'm just going to use this tool right here. I'm going to use my polyline tool. And everything I do, I want to make sure I have a closed shape. And a closed shape means that if I select on this, it goes all the way around and closes the shape. Because eventually we're going to want to come and grab these. And just like our letters, type in the hatch command. And we want to make sure that it's going to hatch between those two items. If either one of these are not closed, then the hatch command will not work. And we'll be frustrated trying to get our design done correctly. So this is the assignment today. Find a picture that you want, save that picture, import it using the picture command, and begin tracing. You might have a more complex design than others, and so I'm going to give you a couple of days to work on this. Don't spend more than 30 minutes at a time working on it. Put in 30 minutes on your design. Save your file as the uh, April 17th update for the push stick and then come back and work on it again the next time you work on woods one stuff so that is importing an image tracing and getting a design on your push stick using the picture command